What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Mark Hamill, but before we do get into it, remember hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget, I have a membership program and also I have a merch shop that you definitely want to go check out. And once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. So with the new movie coming out with Daisy Ridley reprising her role as Rey, we know that we're going to probably be getting some sequel characters for this movie. But after speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, it looks like Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker might not be in the movie. And this is what he had to say about the potential of returning. He says, no, I don't have any expectations of that happening. So it seems that Hamill at least believes that... He won't be handing the baton over or seeing it, you know, kind of play out like that in this new movie with Daisy Ridley's Ray. Now, just a few days ago, again, Mark Hamill did express the support for the recast of Luke Skywalker rather than the continued use of deepfakes in the Mandalorian era. The timing of his comment, though, you know, it seems to be quite interesting because it really does seem to imply that he believes his Star Wars journey has come to an end and in this interview with the hollywood reporter he discusses the emotional filming of star wars the last jedi and he describes the sense of closure that he felt well you know the whole thing was emotional and because when i read the script for the last jedi i knew that it was over and he observed that so i was relishing every moment but also saying goodbye to all those people that i had associated with over the years so i still miss you know all of them and the clear implication that this is you know or that he sensed the finality of his star wars journey in the last jedi viewed through that perspective, endless cameos and returns would deny this and just drag things out rather than embrace this closure. So this is of course disappointing news though, but Hamill's reasons are entirely understandable and they do offer an opportunity for Star Wars to begin to expand once again. Lucasfilm arguably learned the wrong lessons from Solo, a Star Wars story. We saw how that ended up turning out, unfortunately. I mean, I liked the movie, but, you know, the recasting of a young Han Solo, you know, it really kind of damaged and diminished the movie because, again, a lot of people would have wanted to see potentially a deep fake version of Han Solo. But, again, the actor did a good job. I have no complaints, but it wasn't really well received. But, overall, this is disappointing news. To see or hear or learn that he potentially might not be in the new upcoming movie is kind of sad because, again, he's still alive and he still, again, could hand the baton over to Daisy Ridley's Rey and it'd be nice to see it, him go out at least like that. And maybe that'll be his last project. But again, we don't know. Nothing is really etched in stone. And there's a potential that he even might show up in The Mandalorian as another deep fake. But I think he's done with all of that. I think that once The Mandalorian is done with the heir to the Empire. And then after that, that might be his closing chapter unless he does appear in the new movie. But again, they did say that it's its own standalone. It, it's not going to touch into the Skywalker trilogy because they don't want to treat it as an episode 10, which makes sense. And hey, if they're going to move on move on but again guys comment down below let me know your thoughts and theories would you want to see mark hamill's luke skywalker in the upcoming movie with daisy ridley's ray or are you okay with him not passing the baton and just kind of ending his career i guess through the mandoverse and never seeing him again and just letting a recast happen let me know what your thoughts and theories in the comment section for more Star Wars content, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget, I'll have another video tomorrow, and I have, again, a membership program in Star Wars merch. And as always, the Eternal Sith, then, now, forever. Later, guys.